back. For what purpose does a gentleman from Virginia rise? That objection, gentleman from Virginia, is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, I rise in reluctant opposition to the National Defense Authorization Act of 2012, which we'll be voting on today. The bill does include provisions that are vital to our national defense, but it also includes provisions that present a false choice between our safety and our values. Section 1021 would authorize the indefinite military detention of all terrorism suspects, allowing the United States to detain an individual, some of whom may be innocent, without charge or trial during this endless war on terrorism, undermines our most defining principles as a nation of individual freedom and justice for all. Mr. Chairman, our civilian law enforcement agencies have proven themselves capable of apprehending, interrogating, and prosecuting terrorism suspects. In fact, civilian courts have overseen the successful prosecution of more than 400 terrorists. The military courts, only six. This Congress should not impose these law enforcement duties upon our troops. It is un-American and unconstitutional. We should reject the false choice between our short-term security and our long-term survival as the leader of the free world. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The gentleman's time has expired. What purpose does the gentleman from Vermont rise?